Hi guys, so in our previous tutorial, we have developed uh, customer microservice, fraud detection microservice, and Eureka service. So, in this particular lecture, we'll uh, try to develop notification service. So, once a uh, customer is registered to our application, that time fraud check happens, and if uh, that particular customer is a legitimate customer, then it will be saved to uh, customer database and fraud detection history will also be populated into this postgres instance after uh, this particular customer is uh, stored into database next step is to send the notification to uh, to the end user that uh, he has been registered to our system so for that same purpose we'll try to develop this notification service so let's go to intellij we'll create one new module notification let's name it as small caps let's keep the other details as is so to create so we have created this new child module inside our parent module so if you if you check our parent form you'll be able to see this notification module added over here now let's add some dependent dependencies here in our notifications form so let's just let's just copy those dependencies from our customer project itself because we would need the same de dependencies as of now so let's copy these four dependencies so we would need this spring started starter web then spring data jpa to interact with database and postgres let's add a scope as runtime here and we we'll need this eureka client dependency to uh, register with eureka server so let's start with uh, uh, developing our notification service let's refactor this to notification let's just refactor it let's just mark it as spring boot application and enable Eureka discovery client to register with our Eureka server and to start this application let's just spring application dot run notification application dot class and pass the arguments so we are good to start this application now we'll just create one package inside this main package called notification and within this we'll start creating our notifications project so first thing we'll create is our controller class which will be notification controller and this will be a rest controller then request mapping will add for this controller which will be api slash v1 slash notification Okay, and let's add sl4j annotation for logging purpose okay then we'll uh, then this notification service will uh, is responsible for sending out the notification for now we are just storing that notification in postgres database so customer uh, customer service basically uh, when the fraud check is done the, uh, after that we uh, we have to send the notification to the end user that uh, his registration is su successful and completed so in this customer controller we are registering the customer so first step in registering is to check the fraud uh, so this step is in this step we are just checking if uh, if it is a fraud customer and the next step we want to uh, do is to send the notification once the fraud check is uh, complete so 
this step we are still uh, implementing so in this step we just need to uh, call call out the notification service to send out the notification to the end user after successful registration so we'll just in this controller we'll just uh, create one method to send the notification so we'll create a public method to send notification and this will be a post mapping so it will uh, it will receive a notification object or you can say notification request from uh, uh, from a customer uh, service and it will send out send out that particular notification so it will we'll just mark it as send and and we'll uh, will receive a request body object which will be a notification request this will be a class in itself and receive this notification request request object so we need to create a notification service to handle our uh, business logic for this notifications notification service and create a class of create an instance of it we just need to annotate this class as all our constructor as well in order to invoke uh, uh, in order to instantiate this class by spring boot container so just create this class more actions create class notification service so this class has been created we need to enter it with at the rate service just mark it as sl4j as well for logging purpose and in notification controller you need to call notification service dot send send method this will be actually receiving this notification request object and we don't have this notification request object which we need to create so this notification request object will be created inside this package notification and this will be basically uh, you will have private string you want to send the notification to uh, somebody and somebody will send it so send sent from is the person from which notification will be sent private send to send to uh, person's email to which notification is being sent and private string send to customer id so this is basically the customer to which notification is being sent I think string is missed here then private uh, string message so this will be the message which is uh, to be sent and private local date time so this will be uh, sent at so this will be the timestamp at which this notification is sent so let's just annotate this with all our constructor then no our constructor so not to, uh, then builder annotation after it, data for getters and setters um, yeah that should be it let's just import the maven dependencies for this project i guess those are not imported yet so yeah so notification request class is created so we don't have this send method which we want to create in notification service so let's just create it so here this uh, notification service will uh, will be calling notification repository in order to store that notification into postgres database so private uh, notification repository object will create yeah 
we don't need auto wiring we'll just do a better way of auto wiring the things using all our constructor and we'll just create this notification repository interface so this will be a repository uh, and this needs to extend jpa repository and this will be this will be basically i mean uh, will be uh, we need to pass entity name over here which we have not yet created so let's just create a notification entity so this will be actually mapped to database table and let's just copy all these uh, all these attributes in notification as well and along with that we'll have private long id which will be the private key for this notification so let's just mark it as uh, id and generated value strategy as auto so this will be auto, uh, this id will be auto generated for us let's just mark this class as entity then all our constructor no our constructor then data annotation for setters and getters and builder annotation so so our notification entity is ready to be saved into database so in this repository class we need to mention here so notification entity comma primary our primary key is of type long so we need to mention long over here so our repository is ready in service class we just need to make call to notification repository dot save and uh, before that we just need to uh, create the notification entity using a builder pattern just we'll just instantiate this notification dot build we'll just instantiate all the fields sent from notification request dot sent from then send a message to be instantiated notification request dot get message then sent at sent at sent to email sent to customer id sent to customer id then then finally we need to set this okay so all the five fields has been set sent from message sent at sent to email and sent to customer id so i guess that is done and this notification object is ready to be saved into database so we'll just save it to database yeah so so this looks good now our notification service is good to uh, i mean it's ready to uh, receive the notification from customers and uh, save it to the database so in next uh, in next video we'll see how to save it and we'll do the remaining configurations for this notification service thanks for now